it's time to talk about these mysterious cookies. Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the Coding Blonde, and welcome to my Blonde Dictionary, where I explain computer terminology using, as I call them, blonde examples. How many times have you gone on a website and seen a variation of this message, and didn't know what to do or what it meant? And at the end of the day, no matter what you did, nobody actually asked you whether you prefer milk or dark chocolate chips. It's time to talk about these mysterious cookies. What are they? Cookies are text files that websites store on your browser in order to track your behavior. So unfortunately, they aren't real cookies, but your unique session identifiers, which can store information such as the website name, your language preference, what you've clicked on, etc, etc, etc. They're meant to record what a user has looked at in order to give them a page that's specifically tailored to their interests. Cookies look like this. They're just simple text files. They're created when you first enter the website and are modified with your activities. So when you click around or submit some information about yourself. Here are some examples of how websites use your cookies. The first time you log in, a website stores a cookie on your browser with your login details. So the next time it sees you, it will recognize you. However, if you clear your cookies or if it expires, the website won't recognize you and you will have to log in again. No, 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 no. Log in. If you shop without logging in and leave things in your basket, the website might store that information as a cookie on your browser, so that next time it sees you, it can give you the same basket again. And the creepiest of them all, if you look something up on the internet, sometimes your history is saved for remarketing purposes, leaving a cookie that will be read by display ads in order to remind you of that item and make you buy it. Cookies also have an expiry date and it varies from cookie to cookie. So as you can see, cookies can be helpful. They will save you time when it comes to a lot of things. So for example, logging you in, shopping, or enabling websites to recommend things that you will be interested in. Because let's admit, sometimes it's useful. But you may have heard debates on whether cookies are good or bad. Generally speaking, they're not a threat to your privacy. However, the other side of cookies is that your personal information is being used for marketing purposes. So it all depends on how you feel about companies storing information about your behavior. And if you don't like the idea, you can always change the settings of your browsers to either clear your cookie history or to disable them from being stored in the future. Just Google how to for your specific browser. I hope that now you understand the concept of cookies much better. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And if there's something that you'd like me to explain, please comment down there. Bye! <laughs> no, needless to say, do it again. <laughs> okay, pretend like you don't know. This is not that kind of movie, Fatima. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you trying to make it that kind of movie? <laughs> why Hello, mister. Did you uh, shop with us today? <laughs> 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 Other, it's like I know, okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>